<laughs> I'm a Spartan shirt. <laughs> to survive. Is it going to happen that, that one day we read a, a news article about you being eaten by one of these bears? <laughs> God, everybody was just rubbing it in his fucking face if you think about it. In October 2003, Treadwell and his girlfriend, Amy Huguenard, who, unlike Treadwell, actually feared bears, <laughs> unlike him, actually bears. feared they bears. Were their usual, and at the time, the bears were filling up on food for hibernation. Food was scarce that year due to a series of droughts, which made them unusually aggressive. On October 5th, Treadwell informed an associate via a satellite phone call that they were having no problems with any of the bears in the area. Oh, I must hide from the authorities. I must hide from people who would harm me. I must now even hide from people that seek me out because I've made some sort of, um, I don't want to say celebrity, but um, they come here to Alaska and they hear about Treadwell in the bush and they want to go find him. But I can't. I'm hidden down below. No one knows where I am. Even I don't even know where I am. The next day, yeah, that's Wilson, helpful. the Kodiak air taxi pilot arrived at Treadwell and Huguenard's campsite to pick him up, but found the area abandoned, except for a bear, and contacted the local park rangers. After a quick investigation, their remains were found. Oof. Park rangers shot the bear, and upon dissecting it, discovered human body parts in its stomach. Oh, fucking hell. Was found at the site, which contained a six-minute-long recording consisting only of audio <clears throat> due to the lens cap not being removed while the camera was on. The audio on the tape consisted of Treadwell and Huguenard screaming as they were attacked by the bear. The tape later found its way into the hands of Treadwell's ex-girlfriend, Jewel Palabak. She's a mix between the Doobie German brothers and a unibar. created a documentary uh. called Grizzly Man, where he covered Treadwell's work in Alaska. In it, <laughs> I looked into the eyes of the, the grizzly man and saw nothing but darkness. He met Palovac and was granted access to listen to the tape. While we can't hear any of it, we do see Herzen's reaction. After listening to it, he tells Palovac that she should destroy the tape. You must never listen to this. I know, Werner. I'm never going to. And you must never look at the photos that I've seen at the coroner's office. You should not keep it. You should destroy it. Yeah. I think that's what you should do. Okay. Because it will be the white elephant in your room all your life. She ultimately chose not to destroy it, but has stored it in a safe deposit box and claims to have never listened to it. As with the rest of the entries on this list, it's... Yeah, man. Seems unlikely this will ever be made. I mean, that's one... Oh, that, that, that is kind of cute. Well, let me tell you later. I like foxes. They're cute. There is no, no, no other place in the world that is more dangerous, more exciting than the grizzly maze. Come here and camp here. Come here and try to do what I do. You will die. You will die here. You will freaking die here. They will get you. I found a way. I found a way to survive with them. And there we have it. No, you didn't, because you're fucking dead. I mean, yeah, it sucks what happened to you, but... <laughs> 